Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In a series of home appliances, in this video lecture we will study about domestic floor mill. Let us start with the application of the floor mill. We use the domestic floor mill to grind the grains and to prepare a floor. And let us see the working. In the floor mill, we have provided two stones and the stones are made of uh, emery stones. One stone is fixed and one stone is moving. The grains fall between the two stones and are crushed. Moving stone is driven by a pulley which is joined with the motor. The speed of the motor is uh, very high and the speed required at the moving stone is uh, less. So we reduce the speed by using different size pulleys and both the pulleys are connected with the belt. An arrangement of the stone Either we have horizontal position is provided for the stone or might be a vertical position is provided. Mostly vertical position is in the commercial type of floor mill we use. In domestic floor mill we use normally the position of the stone that is a horizontal. Now the construction. In the figure we can see the schematic diagram of the floor mill. Here we have one number that is a hooper. In the hooper we can pour the grains. Two number that is a stone. One stone is fixed and one is moving. Grains fall between the stone and they get crushed. Three number that is a driven pulley. So with the stone one pulley of a bigger size is connected and that is known as a driven pulley. And number four that is a, again a smaller size pulley and that is known as a driving pulley. Driving pulley is attached with the shaft of the motor and both the pulleys are interconnected or the transmission of the mechanical energy is through the bulb. So here five number we have belt. Six number that is the power socket. We provide one socket and we connect our power supply through the power cord at the power socket. Seven number that is a feed pipe. Grains from the hooper is fall in the stone and then the speed of uh, grains coming to the stone is adjustable and the last number eight that is a motor we use a single phase induction motor to drive the pulley we use a capacitor start induction run type of motor and as I said we use belt and pulley arrangement hooper we use to pour the grains Grains are filled in the hopper. Opening of hopper can be adjusted depending upon type of grains. By adjusting the gap between the stones, the quality of the floor can be adjusted. That is a fine or coarse type of floor. Then let us see the troubleshooting. We have different faults and causes of the fault based on that we can have a troubleshooting suppose motor does not run the very first cause that is a uh, there might not be a power supply fuse might have blown open supply in the power cord contact of the centrifugal switch we use in single phase type of induction motor 
capacitor start induction run type of motor so we provide one centrifugal switch which disconnect starting winding after motor obtain certain speed so the contact of centrifugal switch might be open excessive load motor might be defective and in that case we might have open winding or short winding or winding might be grounded capacitor might be open or short these are some of the cause if motor is not running motor does not self start we know that in case of single phase induction motor motor is not a self start motor so we provide the starting winding and the capacitor for the phase split so if motor is not self starting there might be a defect in starting circuit capacitor might be open or starting winding might have open contact of the centrifugal switch might remain permanently open motor becomes hot while running if motor is becoming a hot capacitor might have shorted short circuit in the winding or grounding in the winding defective bearing contact of the centrifugal switch does not open so capacitor remain in the circuit permanently motor is running slow shaft might have bent some of the turns of the winding might be shorted fuse blows while we switch on the floor mill there might be grounding of the winding or short circuited wire in power cord we might observe excessive noise from the motor then defective bearing or there might be a higher end plate misalignment in pulley loose parts shaft might have bent rotor sometime rubbing with the stator the next uh, fault that is a uh, sometime we observe a shock winding might be touching with the metal body or ground connection might have open so these are some of the probable fault and possible causes we have identified a list of troubleshooting in certain different types of fault thank you very much for watching my video keep watching thank you very much